Most importantly, don't forget decoration. What nonsense? I put oil in it, right? It's like it's getting stuck. It's ready. I don't think I'm doing it right because by now the skin should be fried. <laughs> I'm Sunny again. I'm the same guy who did not know how to boil an egg. I had a little bit of guidance earlier, the one pan breakfast. The earlier guidance I had, you know, I, I could capture a few keywords like um, seasoning, juicing, you know, to see how much of the juice comes out, cutting. I think I've leveled up. I'm going to make my second attempt. You must be outside of your mind. How to cook a chicken? Let's see what I can come up with. I've got the skin. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take out the skin or not. I like the skin. So I'm going to keep it. Soy sauce. Marination. It's all fun and games, right? With marination. So let's see what we can come up with. Nah, I don't want to go with soy sauce. I feel dirty. It smells good. Cooking is not difficult. Cooking is not difficult. Okay, now. So. I'm supposed to what? I should have done this earlier. Those of you at home who know how to cook, do not laugh at me. That's the first step to everything. Mustard. Interesting. Cocktail onions. Try. What is this honey? Try it, huh? A little bit. Yeah, I think I think the pan is not working. But I can guarantee you it's tasty. Some sort of satisfaction I get when I hear that sizzling sound. Wow. Yikes. What nonsense? I put oil in it, right? It's like, it's getting stuck. It's ready. I call this dish Chicken of the East. Sunny boy! What's up? Mm. Glad to have you back. I'm glad to have you back. <laughs> why, why? How did it go? How did it go? I cooked chicken. I saw a quite interesting. It's okay, right? Just I, one very important question. What? Why did you pour water halfway to the chicken? Because it was burning. <laughs> so I put water to cook. Why do you put water that? on the chicken? Oh yeah, actually I shouldn't have done that, right? <laughs> Never mind, don't worry. Is this humidifier here to help me relax? <laughs> Why how do you feel? Are you are you nervous? Yeah, a bit nervous. No, don't worry. I want you to relax, take a deep breath with okay. me. Okay. okay, now we're going to make the most amazing juicy chicken right. that you're going to cook for your wife and your wife is going to be so happy and satisfied She's with you. going to ask me to cook every day. Don't worry. About it. So chicken breast takes time to cook, alright? It needs to be room temperature. I like what you put in earlier. It's actually not too bad. If you put honey early, you burn your chicken. So you got to put because, it later. Yeah, you put it later, you add it towards the end or you add less. Season it from a height and move it around. Yes. So I like what you add. You added mustard, right? Mustard. So let's do that. Let's do that. Put the mustard in. Whack it on. Yeah, first. go, go. Whack some on. Okay. I like how you put some smoked paprika earlier. Let's do a bit of that. Enough. That's good. Tear it up. Tear it up. Okay, that's enough rosemary. You like rosemary, I see. So put the, put the fire up, so you see stir fry, 650 degrees, put it down, go half. There's a thick part of the breast, right? Uh -huh. And there's a thin part of the breast. Okay. So if we don't cook it low and slow, the, the bottom part will be cooked, the top part will be raw. You got very excited, I saw you really rubbing the meat and getting your hands all in. Yep. Use the chicken, scrape the pan, yes, yeah, scrape the marination thing. Scrape the pan. Earlier, the reason the chicken burnt because there was not enough oil. No, no oil. You must generously oil your pan. Yeah, bang it, bash it. One more time. Yes. Hear the sizzle? That's the sizzle one. Keep going. I want you to put the breast on the skin side down. Yes. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's what we want. Take the herb and put it on top of the of the chicken. Right. I don't and want, you want the garlic to be infused yes. into the chicken. And then you see with the oil, what I'm gonna do? I'm moving the oil around like that. It's just been cut. Throw some cherry tomatoes in. He who masters the salt masters the kitchen. Salt is really important. Yes, yes, yes. Now don't throw it in the pan, place it in the pan. 
Imagine these are steaks. Now the mushrooms as well. Exactly. What mushrooms? I mean the broccoli. <laughs> I was still thinking about the breakfast well, again. <laughs> Can you imagine your lunch or your dinner is all happening in one pan? So you're going to get a nice char on the other side. We have two versions here. We have Sunny's version which is chicken of the east and we have our version that we did together which is a chicken with balsamico of the and west. smoked paprika or chicken of the west as he likes to call it. Can you see oh. that? Uh, can you see that it is slightly it is slightly undercooked? So let's let's look at this one. So the one that we did together, the caramelization is good and you can see when you're cutting it, it's still tender. Look at, can you see that? Yeah. Oh my god. That actually is very juicy. So would you be confident to cook this for somebody at home? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> would you attempt it on your own at least? Behind closed doors, yes. Okay. Would you cook for your wife? No. Sunny, I want to congratulate you for being a hero. Oh, you have thank done you. A, you have done a very good job from not knowing the man who did not know how to boil an egg to cooking a gourmet meal like this or at least 70% cooking it. I think it's amazing that what you have done. Well done. Thank you, thank you. So I'm a hero. So proud, so proud.